Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Thea 2 The Shattering for a new game with the Return of the Vol update. Vol? Vol. I don't know. Uh, this is one of the new human male uh, magical classes. I don't actually know whether they're mysticism or destiny classes. We're going to try to get both of them over the course of this playthrough. So I've decided we're going to play with Zoria. I thought it would be appropriate to go with a magic domain god uh, for this playthrough. And we haven't done Zoria yet. Zoria's passive bonus seems pretty good. It incentivizes us getting a lot of characters on the table quickly, which is a little bit different than how we've been playing. And Turmoil is just, in general, a fun domain. So I think we're going to give this a shot. This is a very child-heavy composition. It lets us start with six people, though, which I really appreciate. And it also lets me try the Rat Chosen again. I have strong feelings about this. I would like to win a game with the Rat Chosen. So we have a Scoundrel and the Rat to help us uh, win some early combats, you know, just until the children can grow up. And then obviously, like, the, the first Goblin and the first Orc are not amazing characters, but they'll set us up for good stuff. Uh, I decided to go for Advanced Equipment here for Survival over Advanced Gathering Tools. Maybe this is the wrong call, but, you know, like, with these two children both grow- like, they're gonna grow up into a Crafter and a Gatherer, right? I'm hoping that we won't need the advanced gathering tools. I guess we'll see. This might be a little bit of a rough start. So, like I said, rat chosen. We're gonna make it happen. I don't have a, a like a, a strong strategy in mind for this game. Someone in the comments of the last episode suggested that we try to focus on strength, intelligence, and destiny a little bit more because we've seen what the other stats can do. I've definitely been a little bit overly reliant on hunters, although to be fair, it's only because hunters are way too powerful relative to the other classes. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can do that. Like we could certainly try to focus on destiny and wands a little bit. We'll uh, we'll see what's up. All right, get out of here, Theodore. I know what the deal is. Let's let's start the game. I would like to settle on a different island. I thought that went really well last time. Or not even necessarily start, uh, settling on a different island, but just like having our initial idol be made of pure stone was awesome. I would love to do that again if we can. So let's let's feel our way around here. I guess before we go anywhere, let's have a look at our equipment and people. So rat, we're going to we're going to rename this rat, of course, after one of my rats, Magellan, by far the most powerful and devious of the rats that I ever uh, ever owned. So we have a male goblin child. I guess the the gender of the goblin and the orc doesn't matter very much because they're just going to be crafter and gatherer. We did get one male child and one female child. Uh, so we definitely would love for this male child to develop into one of the new classes. I have no strong feelings about... Like, we don't necessarily need to try to develop Sabina into a witch if uh, Goslav is going to try to become a mysticism character or a, a purple character. So maybe we try to make Sabina a healer. That's a good, like, intelligence-based thing. Uh, I had a look at the patch notes. There are a bunch of other changes. Among them, probably, the, probably one of the more significant ones is that they've made the Lightbringers on the first island a lot less dangerous, which I really appreciate. I don't know. We'll see how things work out. So we have a couple of big swords. I think probably Widowmaker should be awarded a sword here. By far the strongest of us. Is Dodmir, does he have Strength of the Swarm? He does not. He did start with Craftsman, which is not amazing, but... Okay, Chesk started with Hunter's Mark. I like that. Guslav has Reliable Argument, which is not super great on the child. Oh, hey, they changed the art for Bite. That's weird. I wonder, I wonder why they bothered. Magellan already has Showing Off. It's pretty cool. Uh, Sabina has a wand, but also Ghostly Axe already, so not necessarily in need of the wand. We might pass that to somebody else, just so that we could have some ranged attack ability. Like, we could give the Goblin the wand. Goblin kids have okay destiny. Yeah, all of the children have two destiny, in fact. And then we have here a wooden spear. So one of the kids is biased toward being a warrior, and the other is biased toward being a hunter. This weighs exactly all of her carry weight. Okay, so we have some we have some options now. You want that amber club over this sword. The sword does more. Uh, the sword has a higher damage multiplier. In, in practice, it does not actually deal more damage, but it does attack considerably faster. I think I prefer the fast attack over the splash. Okay, and we're as ready as we're getting. I got to be honest with you. 
not overjoyed exactly about our traits. I'm a little... Okay, I was going to say I'm a little bummed out to see nobody has gathering, but never mind. Widowmaker's on top of it. Yeah, I would have vastly preferred that our scavenger start with uh, Strength of the Swarm, as they sometimes do, but aside from that, we're okay. Oh, actually, our group has three movement. Can we fix that? Who is... who's slow? Goblin Child is three... Okay, but all the other characters are at least four, so if we move the boar over onto Chesk, we can get a little bit of extra movement. Alright, I guess off into the wilderness. Alright, we found a source of food already, that's nice. Obviously, uh, interacting with ruins and stuff is important as we're raising up these initial kids. We want to get them as many levels as we can, but also, it sure would be a shame if we all died. Let's scout the area first. Observe the quiet remains of a once great city and soon realize toxic fog, uh, undead, etc. What do we want to do here? Let's try to sneak past them to loot the ruins, because if we... Let, let's try to prefer concept challenges because I don't want to take damage. I'm terrified. They added a quick forfeit button, and the first thing I notice is that my mouse goes, like, right to here. I think this is where the... Like, this is part of where the auto-resolve button was before. It was, like, right here. So I might accidentally click forfeit from time to time. I don't know that the game really needed a fast forfeit button, but I do know for sure that it shouldn't be anywhere near where auto-resolve used to be. Okay, I'll take that. We don't need to manually resolve concept challenges, as long as they're successful. The plan worked, but we get ill. Oh, three turns of illness. That is really crummy. We search the ruins, we get some granite, which I'm not wild about. Yeah, I hate that. Three turns of illness really screws everything up. It's going to be so hard for us to gather stuff now. We have a lot of wood, but we really, really don't have a lot of food, and we can't... Effectively, we can't gather food for three turns. Really crappy. Okay, well... Uh, bees, I don't see, I believe the dragon bee model is the blue one, so it doesn't look like there's a dragon bee in that group. If they come over here, we could fight them. What, what all stats is the, the illness reducing? Gathering, crafting, and movement, and all of our health, but not actually our combat damage stats. So we could try doing some ruin challenges while we wait for it to wear off. Maybe we get lucky and get a little bit of food that way. All right, uh, search the ruins despite the likely danger. We find the ruins, yep, white ash, sandstone, and the odd burning upon our spirit. We know this, we know this burning feeling. Uh, once again, I was totally about to just reflexively click right here. That's very dangerous, really. Uh, let's try to resolve it manually. I believe it is the case that failing this is not a big deal. But let's see if we can maybe figure it out. So what summons do we have access to? Of course we have the boar, but the boar is not useful in purple challenges. The Goblin Child does have the innate Demon Summon to absorb some damage. Of course, we can use Magellan here. His Brute Force does zero damage, but he does have Strength of the Swarm. Let's play a second copy of Magellan before we do anything else, really commit to the Strength of the Swarm strategy. And then uh, we do have Ghostly Axe. So our characters are going to be fast due to Warcry. That really sucks, though. So now we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to kill that guy. Uh, we do have protection. That's something we do, we got to just keep playing people, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and get the demon down. Do I want to get the demon down? We probably want to save the demon for last, right? Who had the wand? Oh, it's a concept challenge. Never mind. There there is no wand in a concept challenge. So I guess we're just playing like let's play dude here. Again, we're just like, we're very much about getting characters onto the table. But the fact that we have no ranged attacks does really suck. Well, I think it's wrong for us to do... Oof, boy, I don't really want to play the kids in front of any of that noise. But it's like wrong for us not to play people. I guess let's play the demon now. Yeah, the demon doesn't do anything, but he is a body and he will give us some uh, a little boost here. And then we play... Do either of you even have an ability? No, so we do want to play one of them. I mean, it's concept damage. It's not real damage. Just put a body on the ground because that 
gives us the Strength of the Swarm boost. That helps the most. And we are attacking fairly quickly. So Magellan is in a position to kill this guy before he gets either of his poison attacks off, which is nice. And if we can just... If Magellan can just survive, he'll be really powerful during the second play phase. That's pretty unfortunate, because that guy's going to be alive enough to absorb an entire attack. I think we might actually win this. We'd be super reliant on Magellan, of course, but um, he's very, very good right now. All we have to do is... Actually, that... Are we, we're not getting the Warcry bonus. And I'm not 100% clear on why not. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Okay. I'm definitely concerned about the speed of their attacks. We don't have to buff up Magellan's speed too much, so we could use some Hunter's Mark here. I'm just thinking, like, if we can get this copy of Magellan to act before these guys do, it would be really helpful. We have Hunter's Mark. Do we have a Hurry Up available anywhere? We don't. We do have Shielding. We're probably going to have to play the Shielding. Because Magellan, Magellan's the one who's actually going to take stuff down. But obviously I want to commit characters before that. So I have it on 11.7, so too late for it to really matter, but we can at least get you out here and... Yeah. And then we're, we're way less concerned about building up Magellan's Strength of the Swarm here, because he's already strong enough to do the job. We just need to make sure that the, the timer actually works out. So let's start nuking these guys, I guess. Very inconvenient. Actually, no, it never mind. It doesn't matter at all, because this Magellan's going to remove that. Go ahead and give you the buff. And then do we have... We don't really have another move here. You both do one damage. Man, this is... This is pretty sad. Yeah, we're just, we're just, Magellan's just not fast enough. I needed to save up my points to do that thing, to do the shielding a second time. Oh, that's interesting. They chose not to attack the rat. It was just, like, very bad. Okay. I do love concept challenges. Some XP for the kids, and unfortunately, you cannot eat sandstone. I've tried. It's real bad for your teeth. I guess let's try to knock this one out as well. I think I want to investigate the safer areas. I know this is like hardcore cowardice, but we really can't afford to screw around very much right now. We have to be like super careful. You know what I didn't look at was how much time until the kids grow up. 44 turns? What? That is... Okay. <laughs> that is insane. I don't think we've ever seen a, a kid grow up 48 turns after getting them. 22 is a little bit more like what I was expecting to see. 42, and 28. Uh, wow. Sabina and Chase, I think, are both slower than the slowest child we've ever seen. That really sucks, actually. What a bad time for that. You fall into an underground tunnel and realize it is a nest filled with bones, excrement, and rats. Plenty of rats. Hey, everybody, how's it going? We could try to climb back up quickly because, of course, there is benefit to, uh, to doing a concept challenge sometimes. Sometimes you get a blessing or even stats. Well, let's follow the rat option here. Okay, we still get all the XP without any of the fighting. That's totally fine. So Widowmaker is just going to be working in town. Perception ends up being important there. Chase definitely takes wisdom. That's a, that's a gift. We're going to try to focus on purple stats with Goslav, and then I really wanted to try to focus on intelligence with Sabina, but we are not being given the option. You're currently wielding a weapon, or you're currently wielding an artifact. 
So there's certainly something to be said for taking the wisdom. How's your carry capacity? Oh, that's right. For some reason, that's not visible on this screen. It really should be. So we could take the strength for carrying reasons, but... I'm inclined to go... I mean, I'm inclined to go wisdom. I'm going to take the wisdom. And then do we just take the mysticism on Sabina and maybe go for a witch? I mean, we've done the same thing so many times. Let's take the destiny on her and try to make her like a wand character or something. Magellan gets two strength, that's a total no-brainer. I mean, wits is good too, but... Now, maybe wits is better because of the fact that we're so... Like, so much of Magellan's damage is going to come from Strength of the Swarm no matter what. He does have 1.3 times scaling on his strength, so two points of strength would actually double the damage, the, the base damage of Bite. But again, so much of the damage comes from Strength of the Swarm that actually I think Wits might be more important. Alright. Four points of movement. Do we fight some snakes? How we how we doing on... Is everybody good on health? Yeah, everybody's fine. See, the illness has worn off, so we can gather food in a traditional manner again. Let's go fight the snakes. They'll give us some food. You try to intimidate them. I think we gotta... Ooh. I'm definitely a little worried about that. Auto Resolver shows us a pretty bad result. Let's try it manually. Like, I'm certainly concerned here. Okay, so... This is the Warcry buff. Maybe it's only usable in non-concept challenges. Or who knows, like, it's it's called Warcry. Maybe it actually only works in reds, even. Yeah, you know what, the little cards next to the symbol are red. Okay. I hate having to go first. This is a bad time to have to go first, because I'm very worried that we're going to get Magellan bit by a big snake. Who does nine damage when he attacks, so that's fun. Two copies of Magellan on the table, and then we'll start figuring out how we're going to survive this. Uh, so we do, of course, have both the boar and the demon. I think boar here is a pretty strong play as far as allowing Magellan to fight without dying. Who has the wand? We did have a wand, didn't we? I don't remember. You have ghostly axe, though. That helps. This is not going to be an easy one. Uh... I don't feel super comfortable putting anybody directly in front of the snake, but we could we could put, like, the scavenger in front of the snake, because he's pretty healthy, and then play the boar here. A lot comes down to where they play the other copy of the snake, so I'm a little reluctant to commit anybody else just yet. And we could just play skills. Did we not have a wand? I swear I thought we had a wand. Oh, wands aren't usable in red challenges. What am I talking about? Wands are uh, yellow and purple. Yeah, it's a shame that we that we have very limited ranged attacks. We could play a second copy of this child. I'm wondering, if, maybe I just want to pass the turn. Let them play the third copy of the, of the snake and then figure it out. Pretty unhappy about that. Now that that's down, though, we know that we can we can reasonably safely play you here. And then play the boar here. Or even here and have somebody else stand in front. Yeah, actually I like that. This just gives us a lot of strength of the swarm damage and the, the rats are pretty fast. The rat singular is pretty fast and is only actually taking damage from one of the snakes. I do believe this was the best we could do. We are going to get bit once, and there's no way to uh, no way to stop that, sadly. But it is going to just be the once. Okay, I mean, that was an all right outcome. We got a single meat. Bummer, man. There's some very emaciated snakes. Well, I think we got to head for the meat up here. We just like we desperately need to go and gather food. Oh, I think I saw a blue bee over there. Uh, yeah, I believe that is the dragon bee model. 
Well, again, like we don't really have a lot of choice. We actually do have to gather food. Ah, uh, that's bad. That's a bad rate of gathering food. Because we, we consume six food per turn. So that's actually food negative and two difficulty. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way we could possibly win this fight. Honestly, a challenge this difficult shouldn't be able to spawn this early in the game. Okay, the Dragon Bee didn't play his Stinger, at least. We will get to go before him, but there's no... There's like absolutely zero chance that we get to 15 damage on that, uh, that bite. Maybe we could get... We play you here. Get the first strike for one. If we could get her down underneath the bee, maybe by them playing enough bees to speed our people up enough, like, there's a chance that we could actually still deal with this. We could also use Chase for Hunter's Mark, but I, I guess it does kind of suck to have all of the pets and also the Hunter's Mark on the same person. Uh, let's play you... Let's play Widowmaker here. I mean, we are getting accelerated. So what we need right now is to play one more body on the table and then use Hunter's Mark to slow this guy to 10. No, it's still not going to be enough, though. So they have one more action point. They will play one more unit. If we play the boar, instead of using Hunter's Mark... The boar does three damage on the attack, right? Yeah, okay. Now we have enough damage fast enough to kill the bee before... the dragon bee before it gets a turn. And... This Magellan will kill that bee before it gets a turn. Okay. We are not in such dire straits just yet. Uh, you don't really do any damage, but I don't want to play the kid. Like, I want to play somebody who has a little bit more health. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. Everything here is fine. The secret is really fast characters that have Strength of the Swarm. As we have observed from dealing with enemy wildlife, that is always how you do it. Unfortunately, we do get stung here, but it's not too bad. Oof, and then yeah, we'll we'll tear apart their hands with these super high uh, super high damage rat attacks. Ooh, made it through and ten beetle jelly. Oh, that is wonderful. What a good reward. We really need these kids to grow up faster. Like we got we got mega screwed on the grow up timer. An armed group of scavengers. That's inconvenient. Okay, <laughs> resolve manually. Yeah, I didn't even know kids could grow up that slowly. Okay, that's a pretty strong wolf right there. I mean, I get why they played him first. Alright, we're going to have a pretty big advantage over this wolf, which is nice. But we have to hit him for a lot. And if they play something here so that we're not firing both of Magellan's attacks into the wolf, we're in some serious danger. I think we're going to do approximately the same thing we did last time. Yeah, that really screws things up. So the wolf's going to hit Magellan for seven. It's only going to happen once, but it is going to happen. And actually, the boar getting to hit for uh, for free damage is really bad for us, too. Well, I mean, there's nothing for it. All we can do is play the way we have played in the past. We can debuff the wolf. I'm not sure if that actually helps, though. Like, it'll lower its combat attributes by 0.4, which might might not even take a single point of damage off. 
As it stands, I think we actually do need to play the board just to have enough damage to kill the wolf before it attacks Magellan a second time. But Magellan's going to take 10 damage and go to 1 health here and almost certainly die. Okay, we might have to uh, give this another swing. It is a little bit of a shame how random the early game is. I'm not, I'm not too worried about the damage we're taking anywhere else. I don't think it matters very much. And there's a chance that Magellan just won't die, right? Maybe we'll get lucky. And he will definitely be able to carry us through the rest of this battle. We just got to be careful not to let him get hit again. <clears throat> we definitely got really lucky with them choosing to play their Strength of the Swarm character last for some reason. Alright, Magellan to the far corner. But I mean, he's going to be so fast. By the time they finish playing stuff for the turn, we'll probably be okay. Oh, oh, yeah, it is totally possible for them to just straight up kill him with the boar. I forgot about that. We absolutely should not have played Magellan to the table first. When the enemies can summon boars, it's, uh, <laughs> that it gets tricky. We'll play our own boar? I guess, no, we play the other characters first, obviously. Who wants to take three? No, we'll probably we'll probably play our own boar in front of their boar, so let's play Widowmaker here. They only have two cards left. Is this the guy? Yeah, that is the guy who played the boar. So they're not gonna play him again, probably. You know, maybe that's exactly what they're uh, saving for is to play another copy of that dude. I wonder why. Uh, we'll have Sabina play here. That'll show him. And then... Uh, we don't have access to the shielding ability in this challenge. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's too late for it to matter anyway. Let's just go ahead and put you down on the table. Yeah, that doesn't matter. They played her way too slowly. She is she is just going to get totally murked by Super Magellan. Look at his damage. God, Strength of the Swarm is really good. Have we ever had a rat get to the point where we were able to give it good armor? I feel like Strength of the Swarm helps you scale in a way that other characters just can't keep up with. And obviously Magellan will never get to wield a weapon, so that's gonna that's going to allow other characters to surpass him. But as soon as he has some armor, he is going to be like a truly terrifying force for a while, at least. All right, Magellan, just survive, buddy. Wow, that's a lot of food. Look at how good that food pole was. Oh, man, Magellan, please survive. And then we got a dragon bee right over here. Like we could pull up, uh, we could pull up roots and run, I suppose. Just hope they don't follow us. I think we have to. I think we're definitely dead if we don't. Yeah, that's far enough away that maybe they can't see us. And then we gotta get back into camp and hope that Magellan recovers from his wounds. I mean, actually, it looks pretty good. He's gonna heal for enough before the death check next turn that he's probably okay, actually. Uh, who wants this thing? Is this a better artifact than what you are using? It is worse, in fact. So nobody is the answer to that question. Chase hasn't gotten to use her wand at all. Okay, those bees did not follow us. These bees cannot immediately reach us. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not even really looking for a place to settle. I'm just trying to live until the children grow up. Obviously, a place with some food would be very helpful in that regard. We're going to try to move carefully here. I do not want to... Ooh, fish. I do not want to accidentally move into a bunch of bees or something in the dark. In the name of Turmoil's raging power, embrace the storm and ask for the thunder's blessing. It did not... It did not bless us, really. It's kind of the opposite of a blessing. And that, that put Magellan back down into danger, but he'll, he'll heal past the threshold again. We'll be okay. 
And hey, look at that. We're actually kind of okay at gathering a little bit sometimes. But then we got attacked by bees while we were still wounded. That's actually okay. They're just normal blood bees. We can totally win this fight. The auto resolve has us taking damage. We might be able to get out of this without any damage. Oh, I hit accept outcome instead of do manually. Well, whatever. That's fine. That was an okay finish. I was gonna try to perfect it. Yo, dude, this is a really bad time for this, actually. Uh, choose the Dola and leave. Where did that, where did that thing spawn? Back there? Yeah, that was a comically bad time for that dude to steal a bunch of food from me. Well, let's sit in place here. As long as we're gathering fish every turn, like a turn where we don't have enough overflow will be the turn that we pick up and move. But again, I am so much about just surviving until some of the kids grow up. We do want to get the XP for that that adventure, though. Uh, you know what? This turn will be the one. We'll gather food one more time, get just a little bit more food this turn than we ate on this turn, and then we'll go and do this. Alright, go in carefully. This is no ordinary cat. The Magellan can tell. something. Something's wrong here. Speak to the Dola. Tell her of the thing. Uh, we can look at her with the large, sad eyes of our children. Okay, easy enough. And we get lots of blessings and stuff. Uh, those blessings, if the blessings are active when the kids actually grow up, I think we do get, you know, they effectively have those higher stats as they grow up, which is cool. Unfortunately, I think the earliest grow up we have is like turn 26, right? So probably, we, we definitely will not have any of the blessings we currently have on us. What step of the Theodore thing are we on? Is he still waiting for... Yeah, he's still waiting for us to gather or cook food, but it doesn't always work. Only some types of, of, of food count on each thing. Okay. I do want to... Uh, I do want to try this. Like, I would love a good wand at this point in the game, even if we can't get the Goblin Child. If we go for a yellow challenge, we do have Magellan with showing off. We have the Leather Artifact attack, we have the Wand, so we have a, a ranged attack. Goslav knows Reliable Argument, although he doesn't have a lot of damage from it. Uh, reliable Argument did get nerfed in the patch. They said they reduced the damage it deals. I'm assuming they mean they reduced the scaling factors. Um, that's probably fair. It, it scaled really well before. And then we have a couple of people who can't contribute to Yellow Challenges at all. But we should be able to do this, I think. Out of curiosity, okay, the auto-resolve is terrible. Let's resolve manually. SB, read all of the buttons every time. Strength of the Swarm, 12 damage. Ugh, and oh my god, why is showing off have so much delay? Uh-oh, we, we might be in some real trouble here, actually. Okay, well, the good news is... They're playing all the way over there. So we do have summonables. And we'll be faster than the third time this shock is played. So this is very much about just putting bodies on the table until we have the damage from uh, from Strength of the Swarm. Let's go ahead and play you right here. Try to get that splash damage from the weapon attack. And then we're just playing other people, like, we actually don't want to use the wand, because we need the characters. I'm definitely nervous putting another body on the table before we know where the third play of this thing is. Let's, um, let's just go ahead and play the board now, because we know we're going to. Okay, nine damage. We're, I mean, we're getting close. So what's going to happen now is the board's going to deal one. One of them is going to kill the boar, the other one's going to hit him for 14, or 15 probably, because remember, Strength of the Swarm. I don't even know that we will be faster than the uh, the third one of the... Like, if they play the third one right here, we're just in a huge amount of trouble. And there's literally nothing we can do about it. Alright, let's, let's let them play. That's pretty bad. For, well, okay, 14 speed, though. So, as it stands right now, we'll, we'll kill them 
Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. This guy's not going to get to attack. So we just want to put more bodies on the table to up the damage here. Yeah, he's going to take a pretty serious hit, but aside from that, we shouldn't take any more damage, and then we, we have it. And it's a serious hit, but it's not serious enough to um, put him below the sanity threshold or anything. All right, good work, everybody. If we did get the Goblin Kid, that would be really neat. Uh, if we just get a cool wand, I will also be okay with that. Chase can pick up Outmaneuver, but also could pick up Gatherer. That's a tough call. We'll come back to that. You're taking Strength of the Swarm without question. Man, I also want Gatherer on you, though. Ugh, all right. Uh, two Flying Daggers over Brute Force is pretty easy. Good Luck over Brute Force is, again, pretty easy. A second level of Reliable Argument versus Ghostly Axe. Like... We don't intend Ghost Lob to ever really have good perception, but having another character who can be ranged is potentially pretty useful. No, I'm going to take the additional scaling on Reliable Argument, I think. And then... Outmaneuver... So a badly scaling Outmaneuver versus Gatherer, I think we got to take Gatherer. So maybe it's, it's Goblin ends up Gatherer, Widowmaker ends up Crafter. Okay. Do we actually have the ability to cook anything? Hold on. I would just, I would love it if we could move this quest forward a little bit. With the ingredients we have on us right now, no, we cannot cook anything. Oh, hey, they changed some of the art. We don't have any of the secondary materials, so we would need to find berries or herbs or something. Or we would need to spend an early advancement point on new recipes, which I'm not, I think, interested in doing. I would like to stay adjacent to the fish. Oh, hey, look at that. And now that we have three people who have reasonable gathering, we can actually outpace the rate, uh, the rate at which we are eating food. And we have 12 turns left of wood to burn. Obviously, that's a problem. Okay, so we kill Leopold. We have full health. This should be, this should be very doable. Auto Resolve has us taking a little bit of damage. Let's let's try to do it manually and see if we can't get out of this without taking any. That would be really cool. Ooh, I do not like how narrow the battlefield is. That's definitely dangerous. Maybe I should have played him first. Uh, you know, Bite is so fast. It's, it was probably right to play Bite first. But I think our, our front line is just going to be... We play you now to absorb... I actually play you here to absorb the hit. If we use a Boar in this space to absorb that attack, the third, the third one of these is going to be so slow that the battle will be over before he attacks. So we, yeah, we should be able to get out of this without taking any damage at all. And then we just want to, like, play some ranged attacks and stuff. Okay, this is going to do the same damage. Let's play you back here somewhere. Oh no, we want to play you behind, because you have first strike. Yeah. Honestly, Warcry seems very good. So does having three people with uh, Strength of the Swarm. It's absolutely fine. He's not even going to get one attack off. In fact, both of our bites would have been before his first attack. Okay, so we got a 1.5x wand. That's fine. And a little bit of wood, which I really appreciate. Okay. Uh, what wand? What about the Goblin Child? Uh, he does give us a spider. Do I think we could do this? We didn't take any damage there. We're still at full health. We have all the strength of the swarm and everything. 
Probably this is not going to result in us getting a goblin child, and it might be a thing that gets somebody in the party killed. So I'm, gonna, I'm willing to just nod and leave here. Strength up on you, and ooh, an interesting choice. I think leveling up, showing off makes more sense. We'd be adding less than one damage to bite. But this adds a whole second of extra delay. feel pretty strongly about that. And... Somebody can gain a Spitting Spider. So who's not really contributing to red fights very well right now? Honestly, Goslav. Goslav's not really doing a whole lot for us. And then, how's this wand relative to the one we already have? It is the same wand. It is almost identical. The one we have is slightly faster. So the question is, like, do we replace... Honestly, let's replace his sword with a wand. Because he now he has a little bit of destiny, and this is actually pretty good. Yeah, okay. We definitely do not want to disturb the gathering, so let's just hope that those bees are either uninterested in us or easy to defeat. Either one will work. There is a dragon bee here, which I'm certainly worried about. Yeah, we'll we'll pull that one manually. God, we are we're getting really close to some of the kids growing up, and that's all we really need is like one of the kids to grow up. Fifteen, huh? That's pretty harsh. So if we play Magellan now, this bite will definitely go off before that guy's attack due to uh, the war cry. So the question is just do we play Magellan directly in front of this guy? Or do we play Magellan here, with the intent of playing the boar here? Well, you know what? They'll play the Dragon Bee again. Let's let's play Magellan right here so that we can guarantee this attack from Magellan actually hits this dude. And then the question is, do we play this guy right now? Or do we really do we delay and play Magellan again first and really focus on Yeah, we, we really focus on driving up the damage of the bite. They'll play this guy again, and we'll play the boar in front of the other one to guarantee three damage uh, right away on that. Why is this attack fa- oh, because this attack is not the stinger. Okay. And then we should play this dude next. We should. What we should do probably is give him a sword, actually, so that his attack has a higher starting point. We'll play him, like, over here. Play him here, maybe? I'm not really sure where the right move is. We just we need him to be in a position where he could potentially absorb damage. It looks like the bees are not planning to do anything other than... Uh, play the dragon bee a third time. Well, they'll play the dragon bee a third time, and then they'll play one other thing, because they have seven action points. Uh, let's put Sabina down for a double toss. A little bit of damage in on him. And then... What else do we want to do here? I'm a little leery of uh, playing Widowmaker until I know how they're going to play the rest of their cards. So I guess let's just pass. Okay, so there's that. We play the boar here. And then Widowmaker, and we're good, right? Yeah, that's lethal on the Dragon Bee. Cool. Warcry plus Strength of the Swarm. It's just really, really good. Yes, attack. Oh, interesting. Skill 1 of 1 to 2. Am I allowed to... No, okay. <laughs> there is only one target. Just go ahead and attack the one target. Yeah, I think we must have looked at Zoria's um, abilities pretty early on. I, I I must not have understood how good delay, how important delay was when we first looked at her, because I'd like to think that I could have recognized that this is just like a really powerful ability. Okay, eight turns until the first kid grows up, and then Widowmaker shortly after. Uh, not shortly, but not that long after. It is a little bit of a shame that we probably want Chasek to end up being our uh, our gatherer, but Chasek is going to grow up on turn like a million. We might just have Widowmaker become a gatherer and, you know, just swap him. 
Just because it'll be so much more important to have a gatherer early on. But I think for right now, I'm content to just uh, chill. Just chill and gather fish. Okay, that finally, finally popped. That's nice. Do we want to stop gathering fish to go do that thing? I mean, we should do that thing. We should, we should try to get another level on Goslav before he grows up, right? We have seven turns to make that happen. He, oh, he needs twelve XP. I don't think we're gonna get there. Never mind. Because it would be cool to get uh, another stat boost, right? Four Destiny might be enough if one of the new classes is Destiny based, which we do not know for sure. Like they could both be mysticism. Or they could have additional requirements. I guess we'll hope, because yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna have the opportunity to get another level up. We have 14 turns worth of food. You know what? I am gonna go ahead and, and disengage. Let's go after this thing. Alright, so go in. There's a witch. We could use our intelligence to get out of this pickle. We could also just kill her with swords. We're pretty good at that. You know what? In the name of turmoil, I, I strike at thee. Yo, that's not right. That shouldn't be that. Alright, well, this Magellan is going to be really fast. Yeah, hard to imagine she's getting that rock throw off. Yeah, her, her abilities are just way too slow. Should we play somebody who's a little faster here? And maybe get this established? There's definitely value in playing the other Strength of the Swarm guy first, but his attack is so slow that he's not actually going to get to do anything. So maybe, maybe we focus on playing people who actually can contribute here. That Widowmaker as well. Just run up in her house and mob her. That does suck. That's going to absorb a like a very serious amount of damage. Not a ton we can do about it either. Uh, yeah. By not a ton, I mean, of course, nothing. There's literally nothing we can do about it. Well... Put you down in front of something and then play the boar as well. So I was thinking there for a minute we were going to get out of this without taking any damage at all. That is obviously not the case. Because this first bite is going to get absorbed by the bad rat. I was really hoping with the, uh, the boar here that he might swing that way instead. Oh, that sucks. The Magellan's second attack went to the other rat instead of going to the witch. Okay, well, she chose not to do any damage to the important members of the party. Sorry, children. It's just, it's just true. So we're going to be just fine here. Uh, we got some herbs, which I'm pretty happy to see. Theodore appears and gives us some more experience, which is fine. And then we can cook a little bit now that we got some herbs. Let's make... Grilled fish. I hear y'all like some grilled fish. We may as well make as much of it as we can. An important task? Yes, accept it now. Alright, so that's a lot of extra food and a lot of extra morale. Well, some extra morale. What are we looking at on morale, actually? Oh, people are in an okay spot. It would be really cool if we could get to 50. Actually, people should be trending toward 50, right? Because it's it's 10 morale for every type of food you have, I believe. Uh, this one. Well, he's gaining plus six per turn. Okay. Yeah, we should we should get to a good place. Let's have a little bit of a look around. We might want to end up over here, but I, I would love to get a little bit more vision of our surroundings. Once we have the orc grown up, we're going to be in so much better of a spot. I guess we don't need to gather food right now. We're okay. Let's let's explore. The wind does suck, though. Losing sanity and faith every turn, and I don't really want to be making camp constantly. 
Uh, let's get some vegetables. Take this time to recover our sanity a little bit. And I guess you guys may as well be on iron gathering. Uh, that's not that's not helpful. Never mind. Okay, we could probably take those bees if they came over here. Uh, let's investigate the safer areas again. Then we'll fight the bees on purpose. Howl at the moon together, buzz to a common tune, or simply run in unison with your kin for a time before asking them to move along. Okay, that didn't give us a ton of XP. Didn't mean we didn't have to fight them. That's pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that would give Stinger rep, but no such luck. So are we... We're not anywhere near a level up for this kid. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Oh well. Again, here's hoping that we've done uh, done well enough to get uh, to get at least a chance at one of the new classes. Okay, a Slavian village is fine. Ooh, that's dangerous. We need to get away from that. Not moving toward us, which is helpful. Hey, berries. That's a thing we don't have any of. A little frustrating that we can't quite gather them in one turn. And no, we did not get an option to turn the kid into anything cool and new. Well, we already have children that we know are growing into crafters and gatherers. Let's see if uh, see if Goslov can become a warrior. Having a proper warrior would not be a bad thing. Okay. Let's refigure his equipment a little bit. Right now he's wielding this wand, which is probably no longer appropriate. We can give him just like a sword. Because he has seven strength now. Probably doesn't need this spitting spider anymore either. I really can't... I can't take the boar off of Chase because Chase is uh, limiting our movement right now. But nobody else really needs to uh, avoid being played into red combat. I like I actually like playing Sabina because she has the um, she has the first strike, but she has relevant abilities. So I guess we'll just give the spider to. It's only useful in red challenges, man. So we'll just keep it on him. Like it really doesn't have a better home anywhere else. All right. Well, we need to just uh, stay put for another turn, I suppose. Keep looking for more compelling resources. And we can do a little bit of cooking with this. Since we're gathering more anyway. Okay, do we want to cook fish cakes for a second turn? Well, I don't have the ingredients. Oh no, never mind. We have progress on the thing already. That means the ingredients were already spent. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. Okay, terrain artifact, fish. We could park here and try to grab this terrain artifact. Uh, let's embrace the storm and ask for the thunder's blessing one more time. Hey, that time it actually worked. So, okay, movement points. This physical blessing is not, in fact, giving us any relevant stats to uh, to growing up. I don't know what I was thinking. So, if we put our best people on this, it would take eight turns to gather it. It's pretty non-ideal. Honestly, though, terrain artifacts are pretty important. Oh, you know what? We can't do this because we don't have the wood. Well, let's at least gather some fish here. But yeah, we're, we're not going to be able to get that. We need to go and find some stuff to burn. Alright, teach the child a good trade. I would prefer a gatherer at this point. Uh, she resents us for it, which is not ideal, but otherwise she's fine. Rejoice. Lots and lots of wisdom. Which means we probably want to trade this out for an artifact. Hey, you do still have seven strength. But, like, look at that. She's actually good at yellow challenges now. 
And maybe now we give her the, the spider. And Guslav, do you have the right sword? No, this is the fast sword. Yeah, they're very similar, but one of them is very slightly faster. Alright, well, there's a lot of trees in all directions, but apparently most of them are not suitable for burning for some reason. I guess let's just... I don't really have a strong direction here, we just need to find some stuff to burn. Okay, well, you can't burn malachite. And I doubt the fish will be as combustible as we would like either. You know, the problem with... Uh, fish actually burn really well, the problem is it's so hard to find dry ones. Uh, scout the area. We could probably just take them now. Let's just do this. Okay, I would have I would have accepted that outcome if it had given us a perfect, but we can we can probably get a perfect. We do need some actual shielding at some point here. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm having first strike. Actually, that guy deals a lot of damage, too. Or that guy, um, rather, has a lot of health. Dead Flesh. If another skill would deal poison damage to you, which does not kill you, you regenerate health equal to the damage received. That's a new thing, isn't it? That definitely makes, um, the god who can make your chosen undead a little bit more interesting. I guess not that many enemies deal poison damage. Let's play a second copy of Magellan. We're gonna we're gonna take an actual hit here, which sucks. Man, screw off with that. We're gonna take a couple actual hits here. These guys have way too much health. Good news is you're here to be pretty fast. You can help a little bit. we have to run? So I have two action points. Just trying to figure out, like, am I, am I actually going to have to retreat? Because right now, Magellan's going to deal... Like, we play two more people, we get, we get this up to, like, uh, 13 or something. Neither one of these dudes dies. Well, maybe. So what, you, you take 13, you go down to uh, 3. You take 13 and unfortunately go down to 11. The dagger could kill this guy. And it we have to assume they're going to play another card, so she'll end up being faster. The dagger could kill this guy, we don't actually know how it targets. It does It does hit up to 2 targets. Uh, we also don't know what the boar's position, like, where the last enemy is going to be played. Because they played four uh, total points worth of guys, which means they actually passed with two points up, despite the fact that two points was enough to play a dude, because they're planning on playing a third copy of this guy. Which is fine, I don't think that matters. I think we're gonna be okay. I don't think this guy's attack is gonna go off. Especially if he plays in the position where the boar actually gets to hit him. Oh, we could spitting spider behind. Yeah, let's spitting spider back here as well. That'll help. Okay, yeah, we're definitely fine then. Oh! Yo, that's much worse than the thing that I was expecting to happen. That actually... That's really bad for us. Uh... Huh, that's weird. That attack doesn't hit two targets sometimes? It, it, it can just not hit two targets? Alright, you know, he's going to be under the threshold just for a single turn. That's definitely still dangerous, but it's not so bad. It's bad, though. 
Ooh, an iron hatchet. I'm pretty excited about that. And some elemental javelins. Really? And a really good gathering. I'm shocked at receiving these so early. It's turn 35. Okay, obviously the place we'd actually want to be is right here. Unfortunately, we cannot get there. Uh... Yeah, Magellan will heal past the threshold. He's not actually in danger of dying. Everything's fine. Oh, and it's nice to have a real gatherer. Okay, so you are definitely trading your sword for this hatchet. That's awesome. Uh, great gathering tool goes on the great gatherer. This is super cool. Oh, it's too heavy for her, though. Well, she'll get those when she grows up, probably. I mean, like... I know I said we wanted to try to focus on the stats we don't usually focus on, but she's almost certainly going to grow up into a hunter. It's really hard to pass up making a hunter if if they hand it to you on a silver platter. I, if we can make her a healer, we still should try. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I guess we don't want to make any other equipment changes right now, then? What's your... Oh, your perception's actually really high. She's pretty good with these. This really weakens us in yellow challenges, but we make red challenges so much more frequently. Yeah, okay, let's do it this way. Alright, so... Uh, accept your divine role is chosen. Right, we need to park right here for a couple of turns and recover our wood supplies. So I'm actually going to have her gather fish while other people do the wood thing. Okay. We'll get six wood every turn while burning one. Well, it's about to be winter, while burning two. We could spend a an advancement point on Malachite and just gather Malachite with the other two people. Between the two of them, they have approximately none gathering skill, but... Malachite's useful. I mean, like, gemstones in general are useful. And if we're thinking of eventually heading up to, like, diamond or something, we have to go through something. Let's let's do it. Early game advancement points are precious, but I think that's an okay spend. So then we can rebalance this a little bit. We could actually even put her on the Malachite. Yeah, that's... That's okay. Is that the most sensible way to do this? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's just spend some time replenishing our supplies. So where are we at on, uh, on grow up timers? It's not too, too far. 11 turns for you and 11 turns for you. Okay. We could actually fall back and grab the uh, the terrain artifacts that we passed at this point as well, once we have the wood. Okay, turmoil and magic. So, what do we feel? I feel like this is a little bit more of a turmoil playthrough so far. Uh, I don't know that we could do a purple challenge. Let's resist physically. We will destroy these fiends with physical force. Maybe a little bit more skillfully than that. Okay, Magellan is a little bit injured, so it might be wise to... Uh, Maybe wise to take it easy on him. We could just play you instead. You're not quite as fast, but you're pretty fast. Oh man, look at the battlefield here. This sucks. Well, I'm really glad we did we did this with her. Yeah, it's like super dangerous to play Magellan onto the table right now. Does he have he doesn't have any skills or anything? Nope. We're just gonna use you as a poor Magellan substitute. I do not like their target anybody abilities. That's that's crummy. We definitely want to get you on the table. I don't... Do I want to play a second copy of this dude? Probably not, actually, right? No, probably not. I think I want to put you down for sure. That really sucks. It really sucks that they have four different cards that all do that. 
And then, like, we have Warcry, but they have Speed of the Swarm, which is really crappy as well. Put another copy of you down for sure, get all that extra damage. I mean, we have a fair amount of health on the table. I'm not that worried about them getting a lot of kills. They, they could kill the Scavenger, actually. That could totally happen. Uh, we could try to reduce their strength a little bit, but it's not going to work. It's not going to help. We certainly can't play either of the children or Magellan onto the table, because they'll just get killed. So, is it... Is it second copy of Axeman? It's a little unfortunate that the only place he could stand in is a place where he can't quite kill the enemy he's facing, even with both of his attacks. So let's see, they're going to deal 25 damage over the course of the first round. We're going to, over the course of that same round, kill this one, but not before he gets some of his attacks off. In fact, both of his attacks off, because the orc is uh, slow. This is a grim situation. Yeah, I think we do just play a second copy of him. Hopefully they'll spend a lot of their attacks on the orc. That's that's the thing that is best for us. Uh, both because she's super tough and because she has life leech on her weapon, which is like kind of unbelievable. Okay, yeah, we're in good position here. Them having left everybody at such high health. If they'd gone after the scavenger, uh, we would almost certainly have lost him. Okay, and this is over. Uh, at this point, we can just play Goslov, and I think that wins us the battle. Right, because they'll, they'll speed him up by so much before the before the thing is over. Um, actually, never mind. We we win the we win the battle by doing this because she actually deals six damage with that attack, and she life leeches off of it. That's really good. Why is the thing not over? They're out of cards. There we go. Okay, so we took in total fourteen damage. There, it's not so bad. We got fourteen mithril from it. Wow, it's a shame you can't make the idol out of mithril. Right, it's stone, stone, bone, gem. Wait, you can't, right? Maybe. Uh, okay, Widowmaker. I mean, it's super hard not to take the wisdom on her. She doesn't really need strength. She's already probably got the best carrying capacity. And we could take wits instead, but I kind of just want to make her better at gathering. Like, we're going to need her to be really good at gathering. Guslav is a warrior now, which somewhat diminishes the importance of destiny. Sabina could take some destiny. I was really hoping to be able to take uh, intelligence on her. But we could we could take destiny on her again and then just make her a wand user. Three, I, I don't think three intelligence is enough to become a healer. If she could become a healer who, who used wands, I'd be like totally into that. That would be really good. The game just, like, part of part of us using uh, perception and wisdom and mysticism so much, it's not just, like, a path that I, that I got into, a grind that I can't get myself out of. It's also, the game really directs you into them super hard. They're way better than their uh, companion stats. Could just take the wits. I'm, I'm going to give her the destiny, I guess. And then you... Also, we could try to force destiny, but it, we need the the gathering skill. And you're taking strength. All right, let's keep it up here. Uh, approach carefully. Ask what it is. How can one lose a swamp? We know this thing. I will agree to help you. Uh. You're going to end up being a crafter? I don't know. Hold on. On Magellan, I think here we take a point of intelligence over these two. We could take intelligence. I don't think mysticism is very good on you. The wisdom is just straight better for crafting. 
right? Yeah, you get 40% of your wisdom, but only 20% of your, uh, your intelligence. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We may end up in a, in a pretty similar stat allocation to previous games. It's just very difficult to justify deviating from it. It's something that really has to be fixed more on the dev end. Okay, we probably have to swap people around a little bit. We gotta get um, these fish a little bit more efficiently. Actually, she could pull fish by herself. Maybe that's what we want to do. And then have the next, the two next best gath uh, gatherers on the Malachite, just because we like, we actually are eating pretty quickly. Yeah. Characters with low health may receive a physical curse. Characters lose between 1 and 5 health each turn outside the village. Well, that's crummy, but there's not a lot we can do about it. So I'm trying to get our, our turns of food value actually up to a reasonable number before we step away from the fish here. How close are the kids to leveling up? I know you just did, as did you. Okay, so there's there's no chance, even if we had been adventuring for the last couple of turns, there's no chance of a level up before the next, um, before they grow up. So let's just shelter in place until they do, then. Oh, hey. Check that out. Cabbage Patch. And see, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be a breeding pair for a Cabbage Patch. It can literally just be any two people. I don't know why we were getting kids so infrequently last time. Well, a male child is good. We can maybe uh, maybe see one of the new classes off of that. Uh, you try to become a crafter. You have successfully become a crafter. Okay. Rejoice. Nice high yellow stats. Yo, hold on a second. That is a modern screwdriver. Look, it's got a plastic handle and everything. Who are you, Chase? Are you Doctor? He's Doctor Who. That's what's going on here. I figured it out. I just had a feeling, you know? You ever have that feeling? It's like, hmm, I think Doctor Who might be around. Okay, Sabina does have the intelligence to attempt to become a healer. Let's go for it. It would be nice to have a healer. Healer's definitely a little bit more intelligence-focused. All right, so I did see that they... They said they changed the, the healer skill. I believe that was the, wor the wording they used. So I assume they mean the thing that makes you uh, not die. Oh, wow. It, that's way more effective at preventing death now. Completely safe pill. Okay, so healers have a new... Have a, this is what they meant. Healers have a new intelligence-based damage skill for yellow challenges. And it's poison damage. And it seems pretty alright. What does the small text say there? For a full list of possible side effects, consult your local health practitioner. Never exceed the recommended dose. 100% poison free, we tell them. Okay, Sabina looks, like, useful. Do we want to... Now that her stats are a little bit different, do we want to swap up her gear? And we don't have anything that scales with intelligence, unfortunately. She only has three strength, though. Yeah, actually, she is a wand user. She has destiny. And she has... Yeah, she has a fine wand. Her wand is okay. We actually should probably swap... Chase over to one of these. So now we could give Sabina either wand. They're very similar. This one's lighter. Here, have the lighter wand. In case we get something else that you would like to hold in the future. And then we could give Taddeus this wand. Okay, so all of our initial characters have survived to adulthood. Our chosen rat yet lives. I think this is maybe where we're gonna wrap it up for today. Uh... You know, I don't remember if I said this at the beginning of the video or not, so I'll just say it potentially again now. Uh, this is probably going to be our last game of Thea for a little while. I feel like we've we've got the grasp of the game systems. We'll see some of the new stuff from the update. Um, and the devs seem very devoted to continuing to improve and expand the game. So we're I'm definitely planning to come back to it. But uh, just for the sake of getting more new stuff rotated in, at the end of this game, we'll probably take a break from Thea for a while, just so people aren't caught off guard by that. All right, that's going to be it for us for today. Come back next time on Monday. We're going to try to get one of these new classes into the rotation. And we'll see you then.